hi guys uh, welcome back for another video i'm so glad you guys are here on this video i am doing a clean and decorate with me for fall initially i wanted to do a clean and decorate with me uh, but i was having a lot of problems recording on my phone so i have a few clips of me cleaning and decorating but at the end of the video i do have a fall home tour um so i decided to include it all in one video i hope you guys don't mind i hope you enjoy um and yeah let's just uh, decorate for fall And here you see me taking everything from my entry table. Um, you're going to see me decorate a certain way, but it's not like that at the end. I did um, buy some stuff and then return some stuff and get something different. So here you're going to see me decorate a certain way. For the most part, it's the same as when I started decorating, but at the end of the video on my little home tour i do have different decor on this table um, but then you'll see that at the end but for now we're just cleaning this um entryway table and i had a little uh, a little bit of of a hard time in decorating some areas of my house and i'll just explain that later but for now we're just cleaning this area Uh, honestly you guys this took me a while to get it together um, it was a lot of uh, putting some things there taking it out thinking what I like and what looks good so it did it took more of my time like it took the entire afternoon to get this um, done and then even when I was done with it I wasn't a hundred percent happy with it um, there's some stuff that I just didn't think they went together, um, but you'll see that at the end. In my living room, I again started by 
just taking the old stuff I had on the table like on the coffee table and on the couches the pillows and stuff so I can put in the new um, pillows the new decor in my coffee table and I am using the acorn spice scented Mrs. Myers to clean everything um, I really like the scent of this it smells like straight up fall in my opinion so I really enjoyed using it And uh, like I said it on the other video, this is my first time in decorating for fall. So I had a few issues in some areas of my home. But I think overall everything came out nice and everything looks cute. Um, and you can definitely see that my house is decorated for fall. Um, I know some pieces might not look as good as I wanted them to, but I'm still um, overall happy with what I have and what I did. On the pillows that I have on my couch, I decided to just buy two of those uh, pillow covers for two of my pillows and then I switched the other ones for a really lighter color. Uh, now you're going to see me here that I did purchase the heart and hand pillow, the really like pretty color, like the dark color. Um, and I was a little afraid that that would not go with my in decor with the other pillows. It is a different color. That's not the color I have going on. But um, I also bought the the little throw blanket with that same tone. Well, it's white and it has that same tone with it. Um, so I think both of those go good together. But the other ones are not the same color or the same tone or nothing but i still think it looks nice and they go together pretty good so you guys are gonna have to let me know what you guys think if they it looks okay or if it's completely off
So this is how my front door turned out. Everything out here is from Hobby Lobby, except for the wreath that's from Target from the heart and hand line. In my bedroom, I just have uh, two pumpkin pillows and a Simply Blessed pillow from Ray Dunn. Um, this blanket is a Ray Dunn as well. So I just have it at the end of the bed. And then on my nightstand, I just have this Farm Fresh Apples a candle from Marshalls. And then this little arrangement with a picture from the Target dollar spot. And then some florals from the to dar Target dollar spot as well. And then these two little pumpkins are from Target dollar spot for a dollar each. This one I got at Walmart in their uh, craft section. And that's pretty much all for my bedroom. Nothing much here as far as uh, fall decoration of my charger. Don't mind that. So for this area right here, I have my little bench with two pillows one on each side those pillows are from home goods and then i have that one the little cotton wreath from hobby lobby that one in the middle is from dollar general and then my little basket a little greenery from hobby lobby and then just my regular frame this is what that area looks like Okay, so on this wall, I have the little entry table. It's from the side of that one. And then there's my mirror, you can see me there. Um, and on this table, I just have this vase that I always have here. Um, I just bought this little garland. This is gathered from Hobby Lobby. The greenery up here, it's also from Hobby Lobby. And then I have this um, little basket on top of my books and I just decided to put little pumpkins in there with some greenery and then on this side I have this container also from Hobby Lobby um, this was recently purchased I don't know if it's gonna stay here because I don't know if I really like that tray here i like the tray and what's inside of it but i don't know if i should just leave it up here or not but for now it's staying here with my two candlesticks from hobby lobby this one's um are new too they're from home goods tj maxx and home goods and then this greenery is from hobby lobby like i said i do like the this whole tray and what's inside of it but i don't know if i should just leave it here or not and then at the bottom i have this um candle holder i forgot what this is called but i bought this uh, uh what is it called dollar general and then very inexpensive i think it was like five dollars and then I got this greenery in here and a candle on top of my um, book. And then over here, there's a basket. The basket is always there. Um, I got it from Hobby Lobby. And then the greenery or the wheat, I don't know what it's called. I got that from Home Goods. And then on this side, I just have another basket with a little throw blanket in there. And this is from Target. You guys, it's a little... <laughs> which broom but i just have it in there for now when i saw it at target i really really liked it i don't know if i'm decorating for halloween probably not but i i like the broom so yeah this is what that area looks like so for my living room um uh, i just have this gathered um pillow cover that i got from home goods my pillow is in there that neutral color pillow is also from home goods 
and then on the corner of the couch I have that uh, pillow from Heart and Hand at Target and then the little welcome pillow is also from Target at the dollar spot um, that's my Christmas tree you guys do not judge me but it's there I need to put it away and then on the other side I also have another one of those pillowcases that says gathered together with the pumpkins the same pillow as the other side and then the little throw blanket from Target that's the heart and hand line and then on this side I do have this little side table that I just recently bought at Hobby Lobby and underneath again I didn't know what to do with this space um, I guess I need more things I'm not sure but for now it's gonna stay like that I have the hello there sign from Target that is the heart and hand again and then the little the little stool this little stool right here and then I just put some greenery and this pumpkin pie candle and then on top I have the little picture from Target those pumpkins are from Hobby Lobby and then this greenery is also from Hobby Lobby and then over there that's just it's always there my little llama holding a little blanket and then if you look over here on my shelves I have shelves on each side of the TV so on this one that sign that says give thanks is from Hobby Lobby those two pumpkins next to it are from Target um, in the middle one I have a thankful little birdhouse from um, that's from Marshall's I think uh, it's already done so I don't remember if I got a Marshall's or Home Goods. And then the little pumpkin, it's from the Dollar Tree. The little jar, amber glass jar is from Target. And then my little gnome, it's from Hobby Lobby. And this pumpkin, it's from the Dollar Tree. And then those books are always there. The little pot is always there. And then under my TV stand, I have another little home um, bird house that I got a few months ago those pumpkins the ones in the middle are from um, Hobby Lobby and the one on top of the book stack is from the Dollar Tree and yeah underneath that always stays there except for the little basket behind the behind that frame I got that basket at Target and then on the other side I have a white picture that I always had um, I, that greenery on top of it it's from the Dollar Tree the pumpkin it's from the Dollar Tree and then here's another one of those tobacco baskets I think that's what they're called it was like three dollars so I bought two of them and then this pumpkin from um, Hobby Lobby and then the rest of the stuff it's always there um, this is Hobby Lobby this is home goods. This is from a part of a little stand and that's hearth in hand little jar. I have a, a candle in there. Um, so yeah, that's my living room. Let me give you an overview. That's again, um, I kind of find it difficult to de put decor on this shelves. I don't know if it's balanced. I don't know if it's the right amount. So I just try different things and whatever I feel like it looks okay I'll just leave it but yeah oh and my coffee table I am burning a marshmallow fireside candle and then on this centerpiece I have this tray is from Target the heart and hand and then this coasters are right done um, grateful pissed. let me see what the other one says gather it's four of them and thankful these are f i got this one's uh tj mass mass tj max there we go and this is a tar a target candle from the heart in hand again right done i had this already and then this greenery or this things that i put in here are from hobby lobby hobby lobby pumpkins and then on this side there's a simply gathered frame from hobby lobby and just a little room spray from mrs myers acorn spice 
acorn spice scent and then the little green area kind of. so yeah that's my living room nothing much i was afraid of the darker pillow not matching with the other ones but i think it looks okay and then for my kitchen um my kitchen counters i just on this scale that i i got from hobby lobby a while back i got this um, greenery on top of it and then i placed this pumpkin both from hobby lobby and then this little wooden tray um, i got it at an antique store um, it's actually like a drawer but i love it so i put some spanish moss in here also from Hobby Lobby and the white pumpkins are from Hobby Lobby. And then on this side, I have my Magnolia table cookbook on the cookbook stand. And here I have this greenery, it's like a wreath from Target. Um, this candle is also from Target, it's very pretty you guys. And it's pumpkin spice scented. It's like a, like a pumpkin, it's so pretty. So I just have it sitting there. And then this little frame, it's also from Hobby Lobby. Uh, it still has a tag, but yeah, it's from Hobby Lobby. And then just my regular um, utensil holder. This thing is like a kitchen towel. It's from the heart and hand, but I like it because it says homemade apple pie. There's a recipe here. So I thought that was very pretty. I don't know if it looks good. I always move it around, but it's staying there for now. And that's it. My salt and pepper, the stir, and then um, this ones are right done and they are from within Marshalls, TJ Maxx or Home Goods, one of those. And then my cutting board collection, I have three of them. And then on this side, I just have my little coffee maker with this apple cider uh, mug that I recently bought. And that's it for that side. Then moving over to my little kitchen table, you guys can see it's not that big, um, but I have uh, this little centerpiece. This is all from uh, Hobby Lobby, I'm sorry, Hobby Lobby. So the ones inside of it is like a pack. And then I put just some of this little greenery in this little tray. And that's all for the little dining table. The last part of my kitchen will be the island. Excuse the mess. This is real life here. I have a mess in the background. But all I did was get this um, this yellow sprayer. It's also from Ray Dunn. Just thought the yellow was pretty. And then I put two pumpkins in here next to my little plant. And that's all I did for that side. Okay, you guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. Um, I hope you guys have a really nice weekend and I'll see you next time. Love you, bye.